Hey guys, Lowe's98 here and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be looking at the PlayStation Vita birthday sale on the PlayStation Store. Now in a few days, like I said in my last video, it is the PS Vita's third birthday and they have a sale to celebrate this with lots of games uh, reduced. So some really good prices and what I'm going to be do, uh, doing is looking through all of the games on offer uh, and saying which ones I would recommend and just seeing uh, if there's any really good deals to be had. So instantly I see the God of War collection for 9 dollars uh, Now I believe this sale uh, lasts a few weeks, so you've got until about the start of March uh, before it ends. Uh, now this is reduced from 20 uh, so you're saving about uh, £10 on that one. Now Person 4 Golden is a really popular game. Uh, I'm heard, I've heard a lot of good things, and it seems they've got a listing for both the full price and the sale price. So if you do buy it, Make sure you click the fourteen ninety nine. Uh, this is definitely worth checking out. It's reduced from thirty four ninety nine, uh, which is always a good bargain. Now the real bargain here is Killzone Mercenary, which, in my opinion, is one of the top three best Vita games ever released. If if not the best in certain opinions, uh, this is reduced from only fifteen nine fifteen pounds, uh, reduced to six ninety nine. But for six ninety nine, you are getting the best shooter and one of the best games on the Vita. So I would definitely recommend you pick up. Killzone Mercenary. Now we've got the two Danganronpa games there. I'm not quite sure what they're about. Uh, if you're a fan of Japanese style games, that's definitely going to appeal to you. Uh, not too much of a saving on those, uh, but uh, we've got Soul Sacrifice Delta here for 11.99. Uh, that's another one I've really, really enjoyed. Uh, I'm not sure what this is reduced from. It's reduced from 25. Uh, so you're making uh, a saving of about £23 on that one. Now, Assassin's Creed is another one that I would recommend you uh, you buy. It's only £6.99. It's usually on sale uh, in most of the sales they've had over the last year. It's only reduced from £14.99 as it has been out a long time. But with £6.99, it's definitely worth uh, picking up. Uh, now, Need for Speed, although it is a really good game, uh, I'd hold on and uh, wait before you actually buy this one. If you haven't bought it already, uh, I've seen most wanted uh, on sale for slightly lower before. Uh, so if you want to stick, if you do want to buy this game, uh, you could buy it. 11.99 is a pretty good price. It is reduced from about 45 pounds, uh, but I've seen it cheaper elsewhere uh, and in other sales. So it, uh, you could always wait for that one if you want a slightly better price, but it's always worth it. Uh, at 11.99 now we've got lego batman 3 which is the new batman game i really enjoyed the second one uh or the the first batman game on the vita uh, and apparently although it's not the full console release uh, they have actually improved uh this game on the vita and it is actually worth buying i read a very good review about it uh, from the vita lounge uh, and i may well pick this up in the future once it's further reduced it's only reduced by 10 pounds uh, so if you want to save any more money uh, i'd wait about half a year uh, before it's reduced even further now. Metal Gear Solid is another favourite, they always like to discount. Uh, you've got the collection for $11.99, the individual games for $6.49. Uh, now we've got the three trilogies here, the Sly, Ratchet and Clank and Jack and Daxter trilogies. Uh, obviously the Jack and Daxter being slightly cheaper uh, as it was released first, but these are always uh, worth checking out. I think the Sly trilogy and the Ratchet and Clank trilogy especially uh, are really, really fun. Now we've got Hatsune Miku and YS Memories of Cell set for 15 uh, and 14.99. Uh, I've heard Hatsune Miku is a pretty good game, although I'm not quite sure uh, what it's about. But any fans of Japanese style games will love uh, some of these games on offer. Now we've got Resistance Burning Skies, uh, which is, wasn't really a great game, but if you're looking to bolster your FPS collection on the Vita, uh, it's always worth it. It's 6.99. It's always reduced in any sale, uh, and you won't really get a much better price anywhere else. Uh, now I'm just looking through Ford here. You've got a lot of uh, you got them Walking Walking Dead, uh, Raymond Origins, and Mortal Kombat, uh, and we've got obviously the Walking Dead and the Wolf Among Us here. So you've got the complete season one of the Walking Dead for six ninety nine. That's the usual price they reduce it to. Uh, so it's always worth getting that. And also the Wolf Among Us, which I haven't seen reduced before, just because I haven't really been in the Vita loop lately. Uh, but for ten pounds, uh, it's a relatively new game. So it's always worth checking that one out as well. Now, one, two games I'd really recommend is Wipeout and Gravity Rush. For five seventy nine, it's absolutely phenomenal price. Uh, if you're a fan of racing games, Wipeout is amazing. It's high speed, it's fast. The graphics are one of the best games uh, on the Vita in terms of graphics. So it's really sad when Sony shut down the studio behind this game, uh, as it really is 
an amazing game. And for £5, uh, you can't complain. And Gravity Rush as well. If you don't know what Gravity Rush uh, is about, uh, go and read some reviews, uh, watch some videos online. This is personally one of my favourite games, uh, and I had spent a lot of time on this game, exploring the world and floating around the cities. It's just a fab game for £5.79. Obviously, we've got some of the original games here, like Super Stardust. Tearaway is another one that's been reduced. I'm just going to have a look here and see how much that is. Uh, now, that's down to £6.99, uh, so that's definitely worth it. It's half price there, so it's reduced from £11.49. Uh, Uncharted for £9.99. I thought they would have reduced it a little bit lower, as it was one of the launch games. Uh, so, if you want to stick around, I'm sure you can find a slightly better price, uh, but it's not too bad. Uh, you've got Dragon's Crown. Uh, some other ones here. Batman Arkham Origins Blackgate is another really good game, uh, although I'd wait for that one to be reduced uh, further. But Sly Cooper Thieves in Time is a very good game, and that's 5 dollars dollars sorry. Now, we've got a few racing games here. Sonic, Ridge Racer, MotorStorm. Uh, Child of Light is a pretty cool game. That's got some good ratings on the store. Uh, that's always worth picking up. I'm not quite sure. I haven't actually played it myself. I'm just going to have a look here. So it's reduced from £20. It's about a saving of £12. Uh, you've got some more racing here with MotoGP. Uh, and it's quite odd. I think there's another glitch. We've got Lego Marvel Super Heroes here, which seems to just be hanging at the end of the sale, uh, which isn't actually on offer. So uh, I'm sure they'll fix that soon. Either way, it's not on sale, so you're not going to get a, a discount on that. But Dust Force, which is quite a little interesting indie game, is £1.69, which I think is an amazing price for an amazing little game. So if you want a quick indie game uh, to you know take up some time, £1 or nearly £2 uh, is definitely worth it. So that's just a quick overview of all the games uh, in the sale. I'm sure a lot of you uh, are definitely going to go and check some of these out. Uh, some of these prices are really tempting for me. Uh, I really like the look of obviously Dust Force at the bottom there, as well as The Walking Dead, uh, which I've never actually played on the Vita. So guys, that has been an overview of all the games in the sale. Uh, I'd just like to thank everyone for their continued support and for sticking around even while I was inactive. I'm really enjoying YouTube again uh, and bringing videos to you guys and I'm always open to suggestions in the comments below. So guys, I've been those 98 thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.